Hello, Biotube. So coming off the idea of people being angry with a big Optimus, even though there are plenty of Titans that aren't Titan-sized in fiction, here's a comparison with some roughly 1144 scale figures. And as you can see, Star Convoy is significantly taller than the Gundam, which is of equal size, roughly, to Omega Supreme. So by Hasbro standards, he really is that big. But how do we placate the people who hate the idea of a big, expensive Optimus Prime? Well, there is a character almost identical to Optimus Prime that really deserves a big, imposing figure. That's a familiar face, isn't it? This is not Optimus, although obviously it seems to have inspired Optimus. This is Microman's Giant Robo G1, otherwise known as The One. This is the guy in fiction who created Primus and Unicron. Kind of a big deal. Significant enough to get a Titan? I mean, if Unicron can get a HasLab and Primus probably one day get a HasLab, I think the one definitely deserves a limited release Titan class figure. For more reasons than you think, he might actually be the most significant Transformers figure ever made, but never released. Serving as the basis for Diaclone's great robot base, and if you think that his head looks kind of like Ultra Magnus's, you're right. As Optimus and Ultra Magnus would be the robot bases for Real and Robo. Optimus wasn't just taking things forward with the Real and Robo concept, he was paying homage to the past. And since Brave generally didn't do robot bases, this was the last robot base for a long time. So the significance of retooling this into the one and have it able to shake hands with the great robot base regardless is a profoundly amazing thing. It would also give Star Convoy a redeco, something he lacks historically compared to his Battlestar brethren, who he of course towers over. But overall, the one is the origin of all Transformers, both in lore and in history. Optimus Prime was literally made in his image, again in lore and in history. So even if you feel that Optimus Prime, of all people, doesn't deserve a Titan class, the one definitely does, beyond any doubt. The only problem being, of course, that the one is a big black slab of nothing. I think he would definitely require some creative license. Maybe white speckles in his black plastic to give him a sort of cosmic look. Obviously, his visor would have to have some kind of color to it. And it is interesting that he has a visor, despite Optimus having eyes. Which is funny, since Smallest Convoy has a visor. Maybe transparent dark blue plastic with speckles in it for the visor and the windows. Elsewise, I'm not sure. I think the designers at Takara would do a better job coming up with a design for the one than I would. After all, they did make him. Also, it would be absolutely hilarious to get a missing link, the one. An update on Boom Boonja Robo Champion. It's pretty cool that you can mount the guns up there. It really reminds me of Legends God Ginrai. It's pretty cool how the roller drone becomes the shoes, the trailer becomes the wings, and the cab becomes the skirt piece. There's a mini plot version as well if you want a more poseable version, and not a brick. Speaking of bricks, these prototypes for the new Galaxy Warriors are Technic compatible. The final products, not so much. Imagine being. Hope you liked it. Links below.